Hill. Is this on? We have what it takes to wake up, to work, and to win. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of What's Wrong With Wrestling. I'm Andrew Pisano, along with my brother Joe Pisano and Eric Slamilton Hamilton. Man, it's summertime. Mm. Feels weird. There's still daylight and we're recording the show. Yeah, I know. It's weird. weird. It's weird. Love those long, long days. Yeah. I, you know what I don't like? What? Those long, long episodes of WWE. Correct. Not Where a fan. three hours feels like 13. <laughs> it's uh, feels- too much show. Feels like a whole day. Why That's- doesn't USA go, guys, I hear you for the three hours. Yeah. But I'm thinking two would be much, much better. The ratings drop for the last hour. Right. So much so that you have a Cody countdown. Oh, right. Oh, God. That no one likes. You say it's a kid show, but it goes till 11 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Do you think those are still like three of their highest rated hours of the week? I don't know. Is that why they Maybe they three? just like that there's three, like, yeah, they don't have to worry. I don't know. Every <laughs> Monday they'll get, well, not two, not even two million anymore. You know what it Every takes? Every Monday we get at least 1.5 million. You know what it takes to keep me glued to the TV on USA for multiple hours? What's that? Those weekend long marathons of SVU. Oh, there you go. Because I yeah. will sit and watch those for fucking seven hours. Mm. Seven hours of SVU. And you're not being sarcastic. No, yeah. not in the slightest. <laughs> but yeah. if I see it on, I'm like, well, my day's over. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Raw was brutal this week. Raw was brutal. SmackDown was not much. And not we much had better. another no. another Who Are You oh, God. from NXT, a very well-known member mm. of NXT. Yeah. yeah. Came over. Yeah. yeah. And changed his name. Yeah. yeah. To Dufit, I believe. What was it? <laughs> Dufit. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. From Max Dufit. From LA Feet. Yeah. To Max Dufit. <laughs> Max Dufit. Max do my feet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, what, yeah, sorry. Why? Yeah. why? Oh, thank you. Like, he could even come around and say he's LA Knight, but this is his new role. Right. Because we know who he is. Right. Why does he need a, need a name change? His real name isn't L.A. Knight. No, yeah, but then it wouldn't work with the MM, the MMM. Uh, mm. That's the problem. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's mm. Yeah. Because <laughs> Vince likes the male models, boy. He yeah, sure I guess so. Sure fucking does. Oh, wow. God. Wow, wow, wow. And next week is Hell in a Cell. Uh, hell. pay per view. Hell oh, in the Cell. Man. Yeah, as some people like to say. Yeah. Hell in the Cell. Hell at the Cell. Hell at the Cell. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, Eric could lose both belts in the next couple weeks. I know. It's scary times. And that's most likely what's going to happen. Uh, it's going to be know. fun. It's going to be exciting. I feel very confident that I'll have at least one belt mm. uh, within the next two weeks. Really? Probably both, but, you know, we'll no. see. Anyways, before we get to SmackDown and Raw, we need to thank uh, Rick Jameson for being a new patron. I'm Rick Patreon. Jameson. Ba- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling gets you everything. Weekly AEW recaps, all the pay-per-view recaps from like the past six years. Yeah. Mm. Countless brackets, including one that we're going to record tonight. Tonight. Wow. And it's going to come out this Saturday. Yeah. So a lot of good stuff. Five dollars a month gets you everything. Patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. Wow. Pay-per-view recaps two weeks in a row. Crazy. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You get to see Eric lose both belts back to back on Patreon. It's gonna be fun. Pay five dollars to watch Eric lose belts. There you go. <laughs> and not the ones on his pants, because that would be weird. You'd have to pay less money to see that. Yes. All right. I'd have to give you more. So SmackDown opens with the bloodline. We have a seven-minute entrance, followed by a seven-minute promo. Right. This was so boring. Mm. It was just to promote the tag team unification match. Yeah. And Roman just tells his cousins, get it done, and I love you. That's yeah. it. Yeah. He Basically. loves them. You know, it, it's so funny because last week, me, Andrew, and Josh went to AEW Dynamite here in Houston. Yeah. And it was so weird going to a wrestling show that's not interrupted by, like, a 10-minute video package I know. every seven minutes. Yep. That was one thing they did well. Yeah. Was they would just have matches back-to-back. Something right. was always happening. The show the kicked off, immediately a match. Yeah. How great is that? It's refreshing. That's what we want to see. 
You, you need something to get us into the show, not fucking Roman preaching the same bullshit he's been preaching for two years now. Yeah, but you can start a show with a promo well, if it's a good promo. Well, yeah, if exactly. Chris Jericho come out at his height. Right. And they just play a song and the whole crowd's chanting and he's yeah. just going to come out and do a promo. Sure. Or MJF or any, you know what I mean? Right. Right. CM Punk. I mean, you can start it with that, but if you have nothing good to say, have a match. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But then again, I mean, some of these matches weren't really great. So. Well, no, it's, it's WWE. So yeah. Uh, I now. think the roll-ups been replaced this week. That's uh, true. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to have some DQs. Yeah. going to have oh, to have God. a new counter. So we have Shinsuke Nakamura versus Sami Zayn because we haven't seen that much enough in the past few years. Yeah, God. yeah. And Sami wore the Bloodline shirt again because he's trying to join their stable. Like, Wait. let him join already. Yeah. Like a stable's four. Right. They have three. No, they have Heyman. That's four. Oh, stop it. <laughs> JJ Dillon does not count as the Horseman. Okay. Be the five Horsemen. Uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> Sammy also tried to win by count out again, but it failed, and Nakamura won with the Kinshasa. Mm-hmm. Not really much to say here. No, no, nope. that's nope. pretty nope. much it. Yep, Nakamura wins. Mm-hmm. Like and Nakamura, he has nothing to do, and and he has nothing to do. Sammy's trying to get in the bloodline's favor, and Nakamura wins. Correct. Makes no sense. Right. Sammy needs the win. He's the one that's on TV every week. Yeah. And Nakamura beats him. Seriously. Like, really? Come on. Like you would think Nakamura also would be out for blood since, you know, the bloodline double super kicked him no. like a month ago. But whatever. Who cares? Bygones and whatnot. Yeah. Mm. You're the bloodline's ass. Yeah. He get the men in black flashy thing just like Kofi did. There you go. Right. Yeah. He's yeah. so happy to just not be the champ anymore. I know. He's thrilled. Right. Next up, we have Happy Talk with Happy Corbin. Good. Good. Okay. Yeah. Good talk. Yeah, sure. this is always great. Yeah. <laughs> and like uh, good, good talk. Good, good talk. talk. Corbin brags about killing Mad Cat Moss last week. <laughs> right. Yeah. And he also embraces the nickname that Moss gave him a while back. Maybe, just maybe, I am the big bald wolf because I huffed and I puffed nope. and I put Mad Cat Moss no sir no sir so what you're trying to say is that you blew him so good he had to go to the hospital yes. yeah oh yeah he was he busted so many nuts that it became an emergency they were right like, he, had to, he had to get emergency fluids because he was just so dehydrated <laughs> God. they were like was this happy oh. corbin again he was like again yes yeah. Oh, he's just so good. Happy, Get him off my dick! <laughs> happy ending, Corbin. Yeah. Happy ending, Corbin. Oh my God! Please go. That'd with be that like name. if The Rock came back. Because remember when The Rock like roasted Corbin uh-huh. on the first SmackDown on Fox? Yeah. And called him like a VD or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he'd be like, "Good, oh, happy ending, Corbin." That's like something <laughs> The Rock would do. Right. That's exactly. Amazing. Yeah. So then Corbin destroys the Andre the Giant trophy that has his name on it. Right. It used to be his. So. Sure. And I was like, hopefully that's the end of this annual battle royal that's not even good enough to get on two nights of WrestleMania. Correct. No. Like, what's the point? Just don't even have it anymore. No. The it's last- on WrestleMania uh, SmackDown. Smackdown. You have the, the great, last two years. The great thing about what used to be NXT and Money in the Bank mm-hmm. is like you're giving the next guy a shot. It used to be the IC title. Mm-hmm. The next guy. You have so many different things. We're like, hey, we need to put a, a spotlight on this guy, this young new talent right. that they're coming up. The first one, Cesaro. Mm-hmm. Amazing, right? Yeah. The second one, okay, got to give it to the big show, right? The giant, whatever. Sure, sure, sure. And it used to be kind of like, okay, maybe an up-and-comer is going to win this. The last two have been Jey Uso and uh-huh. Mad Cat But Moss. even the winners, Cesaro right. never got pushed. No, no I know no. that. But he I mean, won it, in the moment. a Paul Heyman guy the next night, right. and then never came out with Paul Heyman again. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. I'm a Paul Heyman guy. Yep. And it's and over. And it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so bad. I That's the problem, right though, here. now, is there's too many belts, there's too many trophies. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, the next man up is just the money in the bank. Yeah. Maybe. I'm hoping that uh, uh, Braun Strowman like threw away the greatest Royal Rumble belt like on live on whatever Control Your Narrative shows up on uh, YouTube. Wasn't or whatever. that belt green? Yes. It was. 
So maybe it's the 24-7? Yeah, seven ch- yeah it got oh. turned into that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They can't got, afford another belt. That's turned right. into a piece of garbage. Just like the trophy that on that, that Braun won yeah. when he won that Royal Rumble. And then he, he was about to grab it, and they were like, no, 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 it's not real. Oh, yeah. It yeah. will fall apart yeah. right. as soon as you touch it. <laughs> right. Your he hands are like it, monster. And like half of it was coming off. They were like, no, no, no. Do not no. touch that. Please. We don't know how to make real trophies. We're fucking idiots. <laughs> A woman, way, uh, a woman made this trophy, okay? Yes. Clearly trash. Yes, we have the head of the journalist. It's in the back if you want to see. <laughs> it's in pristine condition. <laughs> you want that? It's we have free. It. It's that free we have. We put it in a jar. We oh. keep it nice and pristine. It's beautiful. You ever see Zorro? Like he has it in the jar yes, and yes. he takes a drink. R.I.P. R.I.P. To that piece of shit. <laughs> God. All right, next up we have Drew Gulak versus Gunther. Okay. Drew is basically a jobber. He tried to be a guest timekeeper. Not even guest, just the timekeeper. I yeah. thought he was an intern for like five minutes. He was an minutes. intern. Now he's a real wrestler again. Yeah. Gunther destroys him. Uh-huh. Let's run this back. Why? Do it again. Right. Why? Yeah. Uh, we could not find a local jobber Why? this week. I guess not. No one wants to look like a piece of shit. On Throw him anybody. He's Gunther. Yeah. They did. They threw him Drew Gulak. But I mean, not, yeah. Not That's what he's already... paid for. Right. He's paid uh... to take power bombs and suck and uh-huh. just suck. That's Yeah. It. Used to be Gabba Gulak. Now he's just nothing. Now he mm-hmm. sucks. So Gunther puts Gulak in the Boston Crab after the match. And Game then Ricochet, crabs, yeah. Ricochet runs out and Gunther and Lug- Ludwig Kaiser leave. That's right. Remember. Marcel Bartel is now Ludwig Kaiser. Don't Kaiser. forget that. Yeah. Aaliyah? Uh, you... Sure, why not? Oh, yeah. So it looks like Gunther's getting the Intercontinental Championship right. after all. Right, and it's all. a good thing that they told us Ricochet, the Intercontinental Champion, yeah. coming to help Gulak because he didn't have his fucking belt, so I didn't know who the fuck he was. Right, because you never see him with that belt anymore. Right. And yeah. they're just best friends because they talked backstage once? Once. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Got mm-hmm. it. They're probably Eskimo brothers. You know, that's a bond. You can't. It's unbreakable. Maybe. 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 <laughs> yeah. Now, um, did they run away from him because they were afraid of him? Yes. Gunther and okay. Kaiser. A combined from Ricochet. 430 pounds. At yeah. least. Ran away from Ricochet. From and 85 pounds. Ricochet. 85. Right. Yeah. Soaking wet. With, with Gulak, you know, 170. Yeah. Right. Well, right. Gulak was dead at that point. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it doesn't count. Yeah. This right. would all be so cool if... If only his name was Walter, yeah, and he yeah. was with Imperium, right? And he had Imperium's music, yeah. And if that pay per view was defended, or I'm sorry, if that title was defended at a pay per view ever, ever, yeah, which Instead, it hasn't been since WrestleMania 37, yeah. Black right. trunks, no red trunks, yes. He's mm. just Gunther, mm. no Imperium, nope, no nothing, yeah. Love the Imperium Wig. is such a great God, name. Sir. You know what I mean? It's almost like if they would have brought the Undisputed Era to the main roster and then changed their name. Oh, they did. They went to AEW. Well, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got called up to (laughs) AEW where they're the Undisputed Elite. Yeah. Is Roderick there yet? No. Uh, No, Roddy's still stuck in NXT. Yeah. They won't let him go. Is he still there? Yeah. They won't let him go? And there's reports that he asked for his release, but they said no. Right. And he's like, what do you want? His best friends and wife are gone. Well, he's like, what do they want me for? I'm a wrestler. Right. They yeah. don't even like wrestlers in this company no. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, what job are they going to give me? Because everyone has to have a job now. I was hey, in too fa- please, Hey, since you're a wrestler, can you please train these non wrestlers right, on right. how to non wrestle? R- right. I was hey, in train, two train the sleeping girl and you got how, rid to, of them. how to fall asleep and give a headbutt as she falls asleep. Uh huh. Mm. I have to do that? Really? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, so yeah, backstage, uh, a man introduces himself to Adam <clears throat> Pierce. And oh, okay. Yeah, this guy looks a lot like L.A. Knight, but it's yeah. not him. But clearly. it's not no. L.A. Knight. No, right. Take a listen. My name is Max Dupree. Max Dupree. I'm ready to work. Uh, okay, pleasure to meet you. Get to work. That's right. I am the CEO of the hottest new modeling agency. Maximum Male Models. And tonight, the discovery begins of a new generation of WWE superstars who can headline Paris Fashion Week. 
and also headline WrestleMania. <laughs> As if they would ever headline WrestleMania. <laughs> right. That's what yeah. I wrote. Fuck right. this company. R- Not rep- even a big fan of LA Knight, but still, yeah. this is absurd. Representing Max Model whatever. Maximum Models. Maximum Male Models. Maximum, maximum Male Models. Male Models. Male the models. number one. Well, they don't say what number one. I am the CEO. Oh. So he's basically just Vince McMahon in real life because... Vince wants male models to main event WrestleMania. Uh huh. Yeah. Like when he had that bodybuilding company, he was just like, oh, is that, who's that guy? Oh, that's Lex Luger. Oh my God. Must have not yeah. Hire him now. Right. Yeah. Make him a wrestler. But he sucks. Max. He's so bad, sir. Super Bowl Saturday? Right. <laughs> the door's locked. I know. So Max, Max Dupree. Says Max Dufeet. Max Dufeet says he was hired by Sony Deville before she was fired. And Pierce is like, well, fuck me then, I guess. And he's like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. So Turn around. We'll see if Mace is his first uh, oh. You know, oh, God. guy because That's he was managing him. Well, he don't was managing mean, him in house shows. Don't you mean right. face? Oh, face. That's face. right. Face. It's, it's not Mace anymore. It's Face. <laughs> Why are they covering your face, Mace? Yeah. You have a beautiful face. Yeah. Uh, get it? His name's Face because you can't see it. <laughs> I'm a genius. Yeah. Sure. What do you guys think of Face? I was crickets. Yeah. Uh, but I'm sorry. Sonia hired him uh-huh. to do what exactly? Find Hire male him. models? Find male models because she, she loves... Uh, hot guys. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah, Vince didn't do his homework. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait, um, you what? Oh, well, you know, she could play one on TV, sure. She what? Actress. Because she can't come to Saudi. <laughs> All right, next up, we have Raquel Rodriguez versus Shotzi. Sure. Uh, the two of them had a backstage segment along with Aaliyah. <laughs> yeah. There it is. And uh, Shotzi called Raquel an absurd Amazon. You're an absurd Amazon. What do you think about that, Josh? <laughs> yeah, take that, idiot. <laughs> yeah. And Raquel was all smiles as she won with the chingona bomb. Mm. And I don't know if it was a coincidence or not, but the audio cut off when the commentary was saying chingona. Huh. Is it? And other people online were like, did they bleep chingona? Right. Because it means badass woman. Right. Like, it's a slang term. Doesn't chinga, though, mean... What does it mean? Slutty woman? No, 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 no. That's that's no. Uh, cochina. That's very close. Dirty. No, but this is chingona, <laughs> not not cochina. This chingona means it's slang for badass woman. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Trust me, I know. They, <laughs> Anyways, he knows. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know what what was going on with that, but Raquel mm-hmm. wins a meaningless match. Uh-huh. Next up, we have Xavier Woods versus Butch. Rematch after oh. rematch after rematch after rematch after rematch. Yeah. And Woods wins. Can you guess how? Backwoods? Yeah, backwoods. Yeah. yeah. AKA, uh. R- 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 roll up! Roll up. Because you can't Xavier be Woods without a roll up. It's his finisher. Xavier it's his Woods. Finisher. No, it is. Must listen to this show. Yeah. And knows how much we hate pot or roll ups. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So he's like, I'm not going to call it a roll up. Uh, yeah. It's a backwards. Or maybe, or maybe they're like, I'm winning. He's like, I'm winning all my fucking matches with roll ups. I best, I better give it a name or something. Right. Yeah. Maybe it's like, yeah, like a joke. Like, oh, what's his finisher? A roll up? No, backwoods. Yeah. No, but he has been rolling everybody up. Yeah. Like, he does it more than uh, what's his name? Kurt Hawkins did back in the day. No. Right. Maybe this is why they bleeped that word because chinga is fuck. So chingona. Maybe the guy just. Bleeped it, thinking it sounds maybe. too much like that. I knew it was some kind of maybe slime. it was fuck. Maybe maybe uh chinga. Maybe it, was, <laughs> maybe it was fox. Like oh fuck. I mean shit. I mean chinga. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that was it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Butch throws a fit. He leaves through the crowd, and Pat McAfee yells, "Does he have to poop?" Oof. So stupid, stupid, sorry, stupid, sorry, stupid, I mean, stupid, yeah. stupid, stupid, stupid. You're usually stupid, good, stupid, but stupid, that, stupid, stupid, stupid. They're not all winners. stupid. Yeah. That's two weeks in a row he's had a pretty bad line. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Vince yeah. probably the, gave it to him. The poop. <laughs> Vince you know fed how much him. I love poop. Vince fed it. We love poop jokes around here. 
Yeah. <laughs> so then Seamus and Ridge Holland come out to distract Woods, and then Butch attacks Woods from behind. In and his backwoods. Yeah. Later, Woods says he has someone in mind to even the odds. Oh. Big E is back. He's not. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry. He's not. In fact, his neck is not healing properly. Yeah. Oh, no. So it's not good news for Thanks, Big e. Ridge Holland. Thanks yeah. a lot, buddy. Yeah. Right. So who could it be? Who could it be? Titus O'Neil, calling it now. Oh. No. Arr, arr, arr. It's oh. going to suck, right? <laughs> Probably. It's going to suck. I'm just thinking, like, what would really suck? It's it's Tyler Breeze. No. What's he doing? Jesus. He, he, oh, because not with the company. Because they're yeah, friends. Yeah, but, you know, yeah, maybe. They can sign him to a one day $100 <laughs> Oh, God. Next up, we have an update on Sasha and Naomi. No, this is wonderful. Michael Cole announced that Sasha Banks and Naomi are suspended indefinitely. Oh. And Cole said, Sasha and Naomi disappointed millions of WWE fans around the world. Meanwhile, go watch Pat McAfee. He's just like, what? What the fuck is he talking? Like, looking yeah. all, like, confused the whole time. Right. I think it was supposed to be WWE consistently disappoints million fans. <laughs> yes. Millions of fans around the world. So Cole says they're going to have a tournament to crown new but, women tag champs. Oh, yeah. God. So get ready for some new random tag team. Can't wait. Hey, uh, draw them out of a hat. You and you. Go. Right. You're a tag team and you're best friends and you've been best friends your whole life. Go. Right. And you were a tag team in NXT and you were the champs. No, we weren't. Fuck it. Who cares? It's going to be Raquel and Shotzi. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean... If Sasha doesn't return, mm. if this doesn't work out, right. then AEW is about to get the best woman wrestler in the world. Yeah. Yeah, but didn't she just sign, or where are we on her old deal? No, we'll talk about that later. Right. I mean, look, it, w- one thing I learned in my career is a lot of time people don't leave jobs, they leave managers. 100%. No, that's yeah. the same. Yeah. yeah. Right. And there, you know, a lot of people are still bitching about this. Like, oh, Naomi, they need to do, they need to do what they're, they're there to do and, you know, just shut up and do what they're told. But it's like, no, have you never left a job because you feel like you deserve better? Yeah. yeah. Everyone wishes they had the power to walk away from a job. Right. Because there's not always one waiting for you on the other side mm-hmm. or you make so much money like they do. Especially right. Sasha, that right. AEW be like, here, here's all our money. Right. Just blank check. We need good women wrestlers and hear <laughs> that. So come on. Tony's like, this is a blank check from my dad's account. So <laughs> yeah. it says so, it says shod, but it's it's mine, I swear. Like, how does that again? I know that this was covered on what is it, last week tonight, and you know, they they talked about it, and I still don't I thought Tony Khan would be the first to kind of break the mold that WB built, where it's like you know, you can only wrestle at one place, even though you're a 1099. You're not even an employee. Right. But I'm just curious, you know, if someone doesn't want to work somewhere, but they're under contract, so they, they basically say, you're, we're keeping you under contract, but we're not paying you? Or do they literally pay her to stay home? It's well, crazy. they pay her to stay home, but she's not getting the TV money and, like, the bonuses she gets from being on TV every week. And Yeah. And yeah, but her main base they salary stop, they, is most of it, right? And what, and what they've done to all of them in the past is when they're suspended, they don't get their merch checks either. So that's still a big part, well, but that's kind of getting a, her minimum in her contract, in her contract, whatever that is. There's actually news on that as far but as... But no, when they're suspended, they're not paying them. Yeah. They've suspended them, so they're not getting paid right now. If you search on WWE Shop for Sasha Banks or Naomi, yeah. zero results. Right. It's like, you're crazy. Yeah. You're crazy, man. So they suspended them so that they don't pay them. Yeah. It's just crazy that, like, you sign a contract, which I get protects you as well. You know what I mean? You, but still, it's like, if someone doesn't want to be there. Right. Well, again, right. they're, and, they're, and, they're, and, they're, and they're contractors, so they should be able to go Independent somewhere else. Contractors. Independent, Independent contractors. Independent right. contractors. Yeah. So they oh, should yeah. be able to go somewhere else, but they can't. Mm. Because you have to fight WWE's legal team. Mm-hmm. Do you want to spend a lot of money doing that? Right. Doesn't look like anyone does. And Tony Khan's probably the same way. He doesn't want his people leaving. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, but they get to wrestle wherever they want. Sometimes. Yeah. For the most Some part. Some of them do. Britt Baker was on freaking Matt Cardona's show last week. Yeah. I mean, his show? His podcast? No, he has like his own wrestling thing now. Oh. It's like wrestling, uh, you know. Like create a pro or something. I don't know. Something like that. What's his podcast called? 
Major Wrestling figure. I think it's Major Wrestling Federation or yeah. something like that. Yeah. But anyway. But yeah, I mean, look, I don't know when Io Shirai's contract's coming up, but I'm kind of fantasizing like Sasha and Io both going to AEW. Right. And just, hey, let them fight every, you know, that's every fine. week. Every week. <laughs> every <laughs> week. No, but I mean, every, great, every week, like, main event. Their first match would easily be the best women's match AEW's ever had. Probably. Like, Most like 100%. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have RK Bro versus the Usos tag team unification match with Paul Heyman Finally. on commentary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They've made us wait for this one. What's funny is they kept saying this will be like the first unified tag team champions ever. Right. That is false. No. Of, yeah, of course. 100% false. There's been like six teams that have done it. Right. Yeah. Well, just like Sasha and Bailey were the first ever women tag team champions when WWF had tag team champions in right. like the 60s and 70s. Right. Well, that was so. WWF. WWWF. Oh, oh yeah. That's, That's when there's three W's and oh. one F. Yeah. Worldwide Wrestling Federation. Uh-huh. And then Vince was like, that's stupid. World Wrestling Federation. <laughs> and then he's like, that's stupid. World Wrestling Entertainment. Right. He's like, that's stupid. That's all we got. We're sir. all stupid. That's all we have. <laughs> right. That, that's all the letters. Sorry, the World Wildlife Fund really fucked us. <laughs> Take the F out. Yeah. Uh, so Orton eventually gets the hot tag and hits Jimmy with an RKO, but Jay breaks up the pin. In the end, Riddle went for a super RKO off the top rope, but Heyman distracted the ref, and Roman Reigns came out and held Jay as Riddle jumped off the top rope. Mm, and then it. Jay hit the Uso splash. And the Usos become the undisputed tag team champions. Right. After the match, and the you. Bloodline beat up RKO, RK Bro some more, and Jay jumped off the top rope to put Riddle through the announce table. Ouch. Cut to little kids crying in the crowd. Correct. That father is a terrible person. Yeah. At least, I mean, come on now. Right. Your kid doesn't know this shit's fake. <laughs> <laughs> and then Reigns uh, puts Orton to sleep with the guillotine choke and... SmackDown ends with the bloodline holding up all six belts. All the gold. Jesus. And if we fast forward to Raw, like, you would think if they're going to go with an injury angle for Orton, why not really fuck him up? Right. Like, he just chokes Orton. He puts Orton to sleep. Yeah. What's the official word? Well, they no, say, no. Riddle, Riddle on Raw just said that Orton has a back injury. Back it, injury. It's Orton. He's like, all right, well, I've been here for a few weeks in a row. Time to take a month or two off. Well, he doesn't work Mondays. He hasn't been on Raw the past couple of weeks. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. He's like, one one day a week, Vince. That's all I can do, Edge. And, <laughs> and that, that day is Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so I guess I'm not coming. So yeah, Raw opens with an in-ring promo from Riddle. Uh, he says Orton's injured, but he vows to get his revenge on Roman Reigns and the bloodline. He also says, I don't know if RK Bro will be a thing again. So he asked the crowd to chant RK Bro one last time. Uh-huh. This went on forever, and it Riddle was horrendous. He tried to get fired up, but he was too high. Right. No, he wasn't. He was high I on mean, drugs. <laughs> getting <laughs> fired up. smoke that much was... weed, you're always high. Well... Yeah, maybe. I mean, Eric. you didn't like it at first how he was being like, like not dumbass riddle. Yeah, he seemed kinda... pretty dumb to me the whole time. Oh, but I yeah, okay. I mean, how do you open both shows this week with long, boring? It was promos? so long and boring. It was long, so yeah. long, 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 long. So then, well, we have, you know, three hours. So take your time, riddle. Plus, the whole time I'm like, oh god. And after this, we have Riddle and the Street Profits, six man tag versus Sami Zayn and the Usos. Yes, from slow to slow. And yes. the only good part was Jimmy Smith. Pure adrenaline, all this disdain, you can feel it that Riddle has for everything related to the bloodline. Not just fighting, not just fighting for himself. What? New, 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 new world order. Related to the bloodline. Not just farting. Not, not just farting. Not he's just not fart- just farting. He's, he's not just he's, farting. He's fighting. God. That just immediately reminded me of Drew McInfart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They never went back Mac to him. McInfart. No. That was great. So after a 20-minute match, the Usos bail and Riddle hits Sammy with an RKO. <laughs> right. They're like, uh, 20 minutes is our limit. We're fucking out of here. And then they're we're like, the, Riddle the- gets his revenge. Nope. No. No. We're He's the u- new done. unified tag team champions. That means we're the best. Yeah, fuck this match. We right. suck. Yeah. Yeah. Can't be Riddle and Three Profits. <laughs> Next up, we have a Judgment Day in-ring promo. 
Damien Priest tells the WWE Universe to all rise. Yeah. And it's basically acknowledge me. Yeah, I thought like that the same seemed thing. familiar. Right. And he says all rise and they stand up. And then he says, I said all rise. And they're like, yeah, we're up. Right. Idiot. You have to improvise a little bit. Right. When the crowd does something and the script says, say all rise twice. This time you don't say it, dumbass. Or point go, to one person. All you, rise. Yeah. I said rise. Right? Or be like, right. all rise. And they do. And you're like, good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you, you you're did listening. It. And Priest is also very boring on the mic. Uh-huh. He's standing right next to Edge. Yeah. An all time great. Like, help him out, buddy. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Edge. Pitch in. Help out the priest. Yeah. Edge is like this. Edge has his microphone and he goes, you're getting out of this yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got to learn. Like, at least Rhea Ripley, she's confident when she speaks. She, she yeah. at least looks like she belongs there. Right. The priest is like crapping his Especially pants. Especially when she's talking about Carmella's penis. And penis. Yeah. Yeah. Priest is like, can I go back to bed, bunny? That was pretty cool. I don't know. <laughs> So Edge asks, who's going to be our next member? Is it going to be Tommaso Ciampa? Now that I've, now that you said it. Nope. Yeah. No. Corey Graves? No. Alexa Bliss? Drew McIntyre? Mm. Liv Morgan? Finn Balor? What about you, AJ Styles? Maybe after all this, your kids will call me Uncle Edge. Oh, Wendy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the choice is yours. Choose wisely. So. Wendy Styles. It's, I guess it's going to be none of them. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, what the fuck? Champa. Champa, not even good enough to be on three hours of Raw. Right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. After he's been involved in things. Yeah. In a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Started a few with Mustafa Ali, and we never got anything. It's like when Aleister Black started a feud with Big E. And yeah. Then that, <laughs> never, nothing ever happened. And then he got fired. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So we have AJ Styles and Liv Morgan versus Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley. Liv goes for oblivion, but Edge holds Ripley and Liv falls on her back and Ripley pins her for the win. That's it. She just fell on her back. Yeah. Which is what she does when she hits oblivion. Yes. 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 But if you don't hit oblivion, no. ow, my back, <laughs> I'm dead. That's two feet, Andrew. My back hurt. Yeah. That's this my neck much. hurt. <laughs> that much and falling. Ripley just pins her that's it yeah that's the match I, wow. bet, I bet Vince is like you know these two have chemistry let's do Liv and Ripley in the tag tournament yeah no, right together <laughs> Vince they just sir they, sir Vince <laughs> we just broke that's them up tremendous no sir you're not listening I'm a genius okay, well fuck me again yeah yeah, fuck yeah. 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 Fuck. no you know what I quit fuck how you. about since Liv lost if you can't beat him join him <laughs> she's part of Unforgiven <laughs> the fuck <laughs> Judgment Day. Uh, <laughs> he would say Unforgiven. Unforgiven. Unforgiven Day. That's a better name. Yeah. Judgment yeah. Day. Um, so after the match, Edge and Priest hit their spear and sweep combo on AJ, and Rhea gives Liv the riptide. Where's Finn Balor? Right. Where's Finn Balor? I thought they yeah. were a Who club. are you? They were a club. Oh, yeah. I what thought they were. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, were they oh. doing Oh, is that AJ and Liv? No, AJ and Finn. Oh, no. gotcha. That's hot. <laughs> Liv just watches in the corner. Ooh, um, should I join her? Yeah. No? Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll way, be here. Funny, uh, too sweet side story. So oh. on my EXP real estate team, the guys higher up started, uh, like when you name, when you started your own team, you, you pick a name mm-hmm. and it's Team Wolfpack. Okay, mm-hmm. that's cool. Yeah. No coincidence. But they do this all the time. Yeah. And the main guy's from Canada. I'm uh-huh. like, okay. Wrestling is like kind of a second language up there. Sure. <laughs> I right. get you. So if anybody saw me post the NWO thing on my Instagram, that's why I'm literally on a team called the Wolf Pack. I thought you were going to say this. it was like all a coincidence. And you're like, you guys don't even know what you're doing. You guys don't even know what this right. is a reference to. This is all, the, one they, of the greatest they, factions of all time. They all came up with it randomly. Yeah. Have you ever seen wrestling? No. No, no, no. never. What's that? Uh, next up, oh, we have King's Court with Jerry the King Lawler and his guest, Veer Mahan. So, so far, this is basically just like SmackDown. I mean, this is just the worst Raw ever. 
So Jerry tries to interview Veer. Yes. About why he targeted Ray and Dominic Mysterio. Who cares? But he doesn't respond. Doesn't talk. So Jerry uh-huh. starts making jokes and... Oh boy. It's pretty brutal. Let me see if I can save this. No. No, you can't. No. no. Spoiler no. alert. You can't. No. Here we go. Because of some of the things that the Dominics have said about... Some of the things that the Dominics... The Dominics. Uh, the oh. Dominics have said. Let's run that, that back. There's more than one. <laughs> Let's run that back. Because of some of the things that the Dominics have said about you. <laughs> Did you know that Ray told me that you're so hairy when you walk your dog, people pet you? Oh, boy. That was crickets. Yeah. Mm. Ah! Dominic bullshit! Yeah, FJF, Absolutely. give it to him. So Veer gets upset. Hold on. Can we just talk about how... Lawler was making fun of this monster, uh-huh. right. and he wasn't worried about it at all. Yeah, no. He wasn't in fear of anything no. from this monster, no. who's been literally killing jobbers. <laughs> killing. Killing. Right. <laughs> right, he'd be doing that if he was on commentary. Yeah. Well, I think Lawler He's was just... making just, fun of him. You know, Vieira's a pretty big chest, so yeah. I think in Jerry's mind, he was like, puppies! Ah. He was looking at his nipples. Yeah. Oh, man. Mm. oh my God, puppies. You have oh. bigger puppies than Cat! Oh. <laughs> cat had no puppies. Cat. So Veer gets upset. He yells at Jerry, and he's about to murder him. We're about to send Jerry to the hospital again for real. Yeah. But then the Dominic. Who look out? Yeah. Out come the Dominic. Ray Dominic. Ray, Ray Dominic. Ray, Dominic. Ray and Mysterio uh, Dominic. Big Dominic and little Dominic. Yeah. yeah. Big they Dom, some, little Dom. They get some shots in, and Veer leaves. Veer retreats again from, sure. from the Dominic. After he's been killing both of them for weeks. Yes. It's like yeah. a half man and a young boy. I'm out. Exactly. <laughs> too and much. That's boy. too much. <laughs> right. That makes uh, three fourths of a man, I think. Yeah. Uh huh. So that's it. That's right. Next up, we have Alexa Bliss versus Nikki Ash. Twisted oh. Bliss for the win. Alexa looked hot. Next up, we have Cody <laughs> Rhodes mean, versus The Miz. There's... What is she, though? What is she right now? Backstage, She's... she was like, I'm going to fight. Remember, we used to be best friends. Anyway, there's my music. What, what is she? What is she? She's hot. No, that's it. No, that's it. You yeah. don't have to. You're not but she's one of your best female stars, and she's great on the mic. Now she's just good girl, kind of whatever. I'll be here for five. I'm minutes. hot by my doll. Yeah. That's oh, it. yeah. That's yeah. all it is. You've ruined one of the best parts of the show. Right. <laughs> I'm hot. TV. I can see her leaving when her contract's up. To oh, do, come on. Start a family. Oh, yeah. Oh, that. I was yeah. expecting her to be pregnant, like, right after their marriage. Oh, right. right. Oh, like, well, yeah. WWE's not using me. Might as well get pregnant on their dime. Yeah. Right. Get paid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's what... Um, Becky Lynch. What's her name? Candice well, LeRae. But more... Mo- really, Maria Canellas. Oh, absolutely. Got twice. Twice. <laughs> under contract. And they're like, this bitch. Yeah. Fine, you're going to be on TV pregnant. Yeah, they all... They yeah. Are. Can't do that. Fine. Yeah, for now. <laughs> You're booked on this week's episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. they only put her on TV once she became yeah. pregnant. And it was like a cuck storyline, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah kind yeah, of. Yeah, and then she was 24 7. Who was champion? she like, supposedly fucking? I don't know. She was cheating on Mike with someone else? Maybe. Enzo? No. no maybe not Enzo. Gulak. Gulak. Sure. <laughs> That's fun. That would be trivia. <laughs> that Joe should come with next week. Who was Maria fucking behind Mike Canellas' back? Yeah. And we're, we still don't know. Carl Anderson. Give me a hundred guesses. I probably wouldn't get We it. researched for a week. We couldn't. How did you find it? <laughs> right. Yeah. I watched Raw from three years ago for like a, a, a month. Ugh. Oh, wow. Wow. So next up, we have Cody Rhodes versus The Miz. Same old yeah. Monday Night Raw. Uh, Cody's Cody only Rhodes. fought like two people since he's been back. Yeah. No, that's true. Well, three, a theory. Oh, no. Miz, yeah. Rollins, and Theory. Uh-huh. That's it. Three months. What the? F- we just saw April this. Oh, two months. Yeah. We just saw this. Yep. Seth Rollins cut a backstage promo earlier in the show bitching about the Cody countdown. He's also He also said the fans used to sing my song. And it's like, well, first of all, you don't have lyrics. Right. To your song. Well, it was secondly, like that. Oh, oh, oh. Secondly, they do. They still do. When he comes out, everyone goes, oh. oh. And he, he dances like a fucking idiot. Yeah. yeah. So they do still sing your song. He also says, the Seth Rollins clock is in my head. But what happens when the clock strikes zero? Is there... 
What time is zero on the clock? Mm. Is there yeah. a zero? Midnight? Nope. Is there a zero o'clock? Threat oh, level mid? No. Nope. <laughs> I think Seth might be in that cat. Like, right. coming down? He, he doesn't give a fuck anymore. Oh, I'm just jobbing to Cody. Three straight pay per views. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right. The clock strikes zero, all right? Uh, no. Well, not I really. guess like it's military right. time, like 2,300 hours. So I guess when the clock strikes zero, it's midnight. But he attacked him. It was it was like not midnight. Oh well, it wasn't midnight. maybe different time. Just zone. stop. So <laughs> Seth attacks Cody for the DQ, and oh, then he, look at that. he takes the weight belt from the kid that Cody gave it to, and he whips Cody with it. Well, that's kind of great. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that fucking thing. We didn't mind that part. And then they made sure to show Cody, you know, get up and give the belt back to right. the kid. I can't believe you didn't mention all of the many botches in this match. Well, I mean, there was some, there were some doozies. Yeah. Yeah. It was weird, right? For these two. Yeah. Two professionals. Next up, we have Ezekiel versus Chad Gable. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got Otis ringside and Kevin Owens kind of on commentary, not wearing a headset, but screaming still. Right. That's good. And yeah. Otis got ejected for clotheslining Zeke on the apron. And he then ejected. And then he busted a fat nut he because did. he was like, ah. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Eric. You're welcome. For the visual. Yeah. Appreciate and then it. Owens got ejected because he got in the ring and the ref caught him. The ref's like, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> And then Zeke won with a power a up. Roll up. Roll up. Right. Mm, right. How did he beat Chad Gable last time? Pa- roll, roll up. up. Damn it. Right. Hated it. Right. <laughs> what happens if Kofi, uh, if uh, Xavier Woods fought uh, Zeke right now? Oh, they're Ooh, they no. explode. Roll, roll. They'll just be doing this around the ring. Roll, roll, counter, roll counter, them up. Counter, counter, oh, counter, my counter. God. They're doing the roly poly. Yeah. Oh. After the match, Kevin Owens challenges Ezekiel to a match at Hell in a Cell. In Hell in a no. Cell. No. Nope. No. no, definitely not. No. no. It'll be below Hell in a Cell. So correct. The Cell will be above them. Uh-huh. Zeke, so Zeke wins? Excuse me. This could be the worst event in wrestling history. How do they? He, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's got to win. Double the DQ or something. How does Kevin Owens go? From- A twin magic? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that'd be fucking How amazing. How does Kevin Owens go from headlining night one of WrestleMania with Stone Cold? Stone Cold. Stone to Cold. Not being on. The next pay per view, right, 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 to a match with Ezekiel, and that himself. that could very well be a kickoff match. It could. Like, Who's just a, a brother of a superstar? It's not even a superstar, right? right. Yeah, it's yeah. a brother. Yeah. Still calling yeah. it. There's two of them, Still like Eric Engel. Still calling it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Next up, uh, well, we had a Bobby Lashley in ring promo earlier in the show, and Lashley was all smiles as he tells us what's coming next. Oh. My God. So I wasn't surprised at all to learn that so, me and the Nigerian giant... The what? Hold on. Wait. Hold. Sh- me and the Nigerian giant... The Nigerian giant... Yeah, he can't talk. Talking Almost is hard. we would be doing it one more time. <laughs> at hell in the cell. No, 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 no. Hell, at hell in the cell. No, 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 no. Uh, hell in a cell. Hell at a cell. No, 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 no. Hell in smell. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I have to, I have to take a shit. Where can I shit? No, 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 no. no. Uh, oh my god. Uh, wow. Help. Wow. 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 He starts so screaming for help. 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 Anybody help? Let's uh, let's run this back, everybody. Can we do this again? Uh, let me do that again. Uh, we're live, Pam. Yeah. <laughs> we're live, Bob. I mean, almost every <laughs> word he flubbed. Yeah. Me, the Nigerian giant. Nigerian giant. Hell in the cell. I used to have MVP do my talking. Now I'm all grown up. It's like, well, no, English is his third language. Not even second language. No. It's like it's his third language right. that he just fucking learned. Oh. Uh. 
and he learned it from Mike Tyson. Yeah, he's been using. Yeah, I was doing the Mike Tyson audio book. <laughs> right. Uh, he, Mike Tyson's teaches, babble. <laughs> Mike Tyson, uh, what is it? Those fucking tapes you listen to. Ebonics? Ebonics. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Um, oh, hooked uh, on phonics. Hooked on phonics. Yeah, yeah those things. <laughs> God, Jesus. Rosetta Stone is what I was thinking. Oh, oh yeah. It's Lord. Mike Tyson, Rosetta Stone. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, dear God. It's a theorem. What? So Omos and MVP come out to the stage, and Lashley challenges MVP to a match tonight with the winner picking the stipulation for Lashley and Omos at Hell in a Cell. Hmm. Why wouldn't it just be a Hell in a Cell match? In right. a Cell. Oh, they got too many of those. A stipulation. Mm. So Omos and MVP go after him. Lashley knocks MVP off the apron, and Omos retreats. He's like, holy shit. Yeah. He just knocked MVP off the apron. A 47-year-old man. So later in the show, we have Lashley versus MVP. MVP pretended to hurt his knee to distract the ref, so Omos could attack Lashley, and Lashley ends up getting counted out for fighting Omos outside the ring. And then, like, the... Ref rings the bell. Five yeah. seconds later, right. he dives into the ring yes. like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, no, please, no. Right. No, no, please, it's no, like, no. I, I counted you out like 10 seconds ago. And what after are you struggling against MVP, he just immediately puts him in the uh, hurt lock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's it. And we don't find out what the stipulation is. Right. How like many matches wait till next are week. in the cell as of right now? One. Uh, yeah. Just Cody and Seth. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I imagine the women will be maybe really? the women's championship. Yeah, triple Usually threat. One now. Yeah. Okay. But who? Speaking of that, they haven't we haven't pushed anybody. Oscar versus Becky Lynch rematch uh, after rematch after is that rematch in the cell? after rematch. Not only after rematch. a rematch, it's last week's main event uh-huh. again. Again, the same main event. Run it back with Bianca Belair ringside. Uh, outside the ring, Becky fell onto Belair's lap. Oscar went for a kick. Becky ducked, and Oscar kicked Bel Air. Oh, and then no. Becky, Becky beat Oscar with. <laughs> so, how uh, many. <laughs> roll up! Three roll ups and two count outs, right? Uh, and, 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 and this D- was almost there, a count out. There were DQs. There's a, and one DQ. Yeah, there was a couple DQs. Was yeah. There? Hmm. Yeah. Cody Mays. Oh, right. So with that win, Becky gets added to the title match at Hell in a Cell. And yeah, I would imagine that will be in the Cell. In yeah, the cell, hopefully. Triple threat match wow. or something. Or, All right. or maybe Ronda versus... Uh, Who you know. are you? Right. right. Where's Ronda? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, Ronda wasn't on SmackDown, huh? No. Interesting. Then no mention of her. Mm-mm. Maybe she left too. She's Fuck gone. this. I hate it. My ball. I'll take it home. <laughs> bullshit. Fuck this bullshit. Wrestling's fake. But you can't fight for real anymore. Screw you guys. Right. I'm gang kid. That's SmackDown and Raw. That's Oof, uh, terrible. That's it. This is such good shit. There's got to be more. That's it. That no. happened. No. On to awards. All right. Who was your worst dressed? Uh, Pirate Becky. Arr! Arr! You mean See? Seinfeld? Becky, uh, Becky, Arr! Becky, Arr! I don't want to be the pirate. Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld. I don't want to be a pirate. Yeah. yeah, I had that until I saw MVP in his wrestling gear. He just looks so stupid. Yeah. Well, like, what are you doing, buddy? You don't know. Just yeah. stop. Okay. Stop wrestling. Best dressed? I'd be Yanka. Sure. I had Liv. Alexa Bliss. Yeah, Nary. sure. All of those are correct. Worst acting? Uh, Veer. Lashley. No, 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 almost. no, no. There Veer, were so almost many. Almost riddle. So yeah. many. <laughs> almost riddle. I mean, so many. Jerry Lawler. I had Bobby Lashley. God, yeah. Lawler. I had Veer. Okay, and Eric? Who's oh, I'd Lashley. Lashley. Okay. Lashley, yeah. Best acting? I guess. If you want me to give an award, it'll be to Owens, but he didn't do a lot to earn it. He didn't have to either. Yeah, I don't know. I guess Edge. Yeah. He had a promo. I guess. Worst comment? Uh, I had Pat McAfee saying, or no, this was, I'm sorry, this was Michael Cole. The bloodline is about to deliver a bloodbath. Mm. Hold on, wait, wait. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. No, we don't you. use that one a lot, but no, I think don't. Bobby said something like this: "I'm gonna tear his ass apart and put your ass in the ass lock." Ass. He just kept saying ass. So he's gonna tear his ass up. <laughs> oh, and he's gonna put your ass in my arms. You're gonna do it's what like, to his ass? All right, calm down, Bobby. 
Uh, best comment? Huh? I had um, Owens going, I don't care if your name is Elias, Ezekiel, Giuseppe. I don't Giuseppe. care what it is. Yeah. I laughed. Uh, Rhea Ripley, after she gave Liv the Riptide, she did like yell at her, watch me, which is like Liv's saying. Liv's so I on thought her that ass. Wasn't bad. Yeah, yeah. Watch my ass. Watch uh, my ass. Dead. I'll go with the KO thing, I guess. All right. Uh, worst match? I had Miz versus Cody. There was a lot of botches. It ended in a DQ. It was a rematch. Like I had Shin versus in uh, uh, what's his face, Sammy. Okay. Uh, yeah, Cody and Miz. Uh, super slow mo. Uh, lastly, MVP. Yeah. Yes. yes. Sweep it. Sweep it. Best. Who are you? Best. The tag team unification, best. especially with Who the ending. Who are you? I mean, oh. this is. Bullshit! That's, yeah, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah, I got nothing. All right. Worst move? <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, when Veer tried to throw Rey Mysterio in the ring, like over his head, and he just like kind of hit the top rope and like hit every other rope on the way down. Mm. <laughs> it was terrible. Ray? You, oh, you mean Big Dominic? Big Dom? Sorry. No, S- Little Dom. Oh, Little Dom. Right. Little, Dom. Sorry, Little Dom. Little Dom. Yeah, yeah. Ray, Ray Dominic. Ray Dominic. Yeah. Yeah. I just had all the roll-ups. Roll-up, 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 roll-up. Ugh, good. Ugh. Ew, good. I don't know. Yeah. Who cares? Pick Best a, ro- pick a roll-up. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Woods' is roll-up. Yeah. Okay, Zeke's roll-up. Woods' right. roll-up right. Okay, gave Becky's it a name. roll-up. Fine. Zeke's roll-up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Best move? Uh, the splash through the announce table yeah. on Riddle. Fine. Sure, Just because sure. he came off the top rope, went outside. Sweet. Whatever. Yeah. Worst segment? Or King's moment? Court. Jesus. Was that worse than all the Hurt shit that we had to watch? Yes. And MVP oh, wrestling and Jerry's jokes. Omos and Lashley's the, the promo. Dominics. Lashley's promo. Yeah, that was those. Lashley. Yeah. Best? Bot- bottom right. Best moment? Bottom right. Who are you? You know what? Instead of nothing, let's Turning just... Turning off the show. Let's just say blackout from now on. If you don't have a best moment, it's when Raw goes off the air. That's all right, it. All right. Yeah, because I went to sleep. It fucking... It put me right out. It was like night oh, will. Awesome. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to put on Raw tonight if I have trouble sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, you should. I put on Riddle's promo. Raw ending. All right, breaking news. Let's break it. Last week, Stephanie McMahon announced that she will be taking a leave of absence for, uh, from the majority mm-hmm. of her responsibilities at WWE. Stephanie said, WWE is a lifelong legacy for me, and I look forward to returning to the company that I love after taking this time to focus on my family. Yeah. yeah. Strange that she would take it now, now that Triple H has recovered. Right. And not when it happened, like, back in September. Yeah. Even she's like, this yeah. is bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she's standing up for Sasha. In it. No, probably not. I don't know. Is there something else to this? I don't know. Usually there is, right? Sometimes, but who knows? Maybe he recently told Triple H, you're not taking over the company. Nick Khan. Hold on. So so two things, right? One, one, when you're a publicly traded company, there's like, you can't just take time off. Like you kind of have to let the world know about it. And number two, it could just be a private medical matter that she doesn't want to share. She might be one of those people. I don't want anybody to know anything. I'm just taking time off. Maybe. I mean, she had three kids that never took time off. I know. Right. <laughs> so. Well, maybe they really realized, you know what? I don't think the kids are getting uh, their, uh, you know, the the attention. Right. Maybe the kids are starting. Maybe you're going to take an awesome summer vacation. Mm, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so John Cena recently told Adam Glynn of Adam's Apple. I don't know what that is, but. He says he hopes to be back in WWE soon. He said, I know in WWE I turn 20 pretty soon, so that's a pretty big thing. I don't know when I'll be back, but hopefully it's soon. I've been gone for too long. We haven't seen him since, you know, SummerSlam. Right, where he lost lost to Reigns. But, you know, lately when he says he's coming back, he comes back. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe he'll come back. We'll have a Summer of Cena or something. Right. I wouldn't mind one more little title run. Edge did mention Cena in his promo, but we've already seen that match. Yeah, right, you know, yeah. You want to see a, Cena a with bajillion times. Sonny hasn't wrestled yet. Right? Yeah. Like uh, Miz. Uh, next up, we... No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, next up, WWE announced that Crown Jewel, a.k.a. Saudi Mania, will be on Saturday, November 5th. Mm. 
Yep. In Saudi Arabia. At 11 a.m. At 11 a.m., that's right. But at least it's a Saturday, which is yeah. what they've done the past couple right. of shows. Super Brawl Saturday? But who main events that show? Saudi Mania Saturday? Yeah. Roman yes. Reigns versus... Sure. Uh, Drew McIntyre. Uh, no, it's going to be like a... Uh, we want Braun Strowman to come back to defend his title. Ty- will Tyson Fury again, maybe? <laughs> yeah. No, Tyson Fury is going to show up at the Clash of the Castle. Oh, that's for Jesus. Sure. They're crazy. Look, Vince, we want Braun Strowman to defend his title. Well, um, he's been released. Oh, well, poof, there's his contract right yeah. here. <laughs> I just paid, paid for it. Right. It's been sent to his Venmo. You can't send that much money on Venmo. I sent him $1,000. What do you know? <laughs> Have you seen them? He's not very much in demand. <laughs> oh, God. Also, uh, Bobby Roode recently worked a house show mm-hmm. as a baby face using the glorious gimmick. Come on. Wow. Way to go, Big Bob. Yeah, yeah. but I bet that's just a one-time but thing. But with the music or no? Apparently with the music. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, but also, where, also, where's him and Ziggler? Also a baby face. Yeah. You know, again, like glorious. when he first showed up. Why can't he just be a heel and use that gimmick? Yeah. And, you know, like win stuff. Yeah. Like win. Matches. You know, like when he used to win. Remember when he used to win? I don't. My daddy used no. to love it when I yeah. used to win. Mm. Talladega Nights. Right. Anything else? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Kurt Engel posted on his Instagram. Uh, thank you for all your prayers and best wishes to right. my... Yeah. Uh, two knee replacement surgeries <laughs> yeah, today. I did not say get better wishes. I, I was going to say it at the end. Get better wishes. Get better wishes, Kurt. I was going to put that, but I don't know if people would get it. Mm. Oh, uh, get it. Are you kidding? We have fans that in person, they're like, get better wishes. When I was in the hospital, they were, I had so many get better wishes. Messages. Yeah, I know. <laughs> needs to be a shirt. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, he had two knee replacement surgeries, so he's going to be going through a lot of rehab. And he said, if I want a gold medal with a breaking fr- broken freaking neck, yeah. I can handle this. Sure. Yeah. It's what is true. It? Gon- gonorrhea? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> knee replacements. Oh, knee replacements. Oh, yeah. He already had that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, get right. better wishes, and then it's a cartoon of Kurt Angle, like dumb Kurt Angle face. Oh, yeah. Like dumb face Kurt. Like, do yeah. Like about to get, yeah. like when he was about to, when, when Triple H punched him and he did that. <sighs> and I got punched in the face. <laughs> I love that. Get better wishes. <laughs> Be awesome. Anything else? Uh, no, that's all I have. Rumor time. Mm-hmm. Tell me. Rumors. Kevin Owens wins back the Universal title? Maybe. Balor Club to finally get a second member? Too sweet. Brock Lesnar willingly works a full schedule? No chance. Next year's WrestleMania will be in Saudi Arabia? Confirmed. So the Wrestling Observer reports that Sasha Banks was upset earlier this year when Ronda Rousey was given a title match at WrestleMania, which WWE originally had planned for her. Yeah. I'm also pretty sure that Sasha was supposed to win the Royal Rumble until Rousey agreed to return. Right. And that's when she even put on Instagram like that that video of the baby crying, but then they hand the baby money and she smiles. I was yeah. like, oh, they maybe they gave her some money to make her happy. Right, yeah. But there's also reports that Sasha and Naomi's contracts both expire in the next two months. Mm-hmm. However, WWE might freeze their contracts like they have in the past with other talents. Mm. Like when they, like Jeff Hardy was injured, they froze his contract. Right. That's why Matt Hardy was, his contract was up before Jeff's. That's mm-hmm. crazy. And if you're suspended, well, bullshit. we're going to freeze your contracts. You know. That's such yeah. bullshit. They so. can't, I, I, someone's got to take them to court. That is such uh, Andrew bullshit. Yang was acting like he was going to fucking do that. Yeah. And then never I did know. anything about it. When, with the whole Zelina Vega thing. Mm. So then uh, Sasha's husband and WWE costume designer tweeted, The bullshit being spewed is next level. Wow. So. Yeah. I'm sure he hears everything. Sasha has not been on social media at all. Like no Instagram stories, nothing. No. Mm. I'm not sure about Naomi either, but I don't think so. Hmm. So, and that's really interesting considering her husband is in the biggest storyline in the company. Yeah. Right, right. Mercedes is all elite. Could you fucking imagine? Yeah. Be crazy. Also, uh, Ringside News claims Harland. 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 
Harland was planned to be the fourth member of Judgment Day before he was fired by WWE. Idiots. Uh, there's other reports saying WWE found something out about Harland, which was why he was released. So maybe he was in a porno, too. It- <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be Harland and Lars Sullivan in a porno. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or they started OnlyFans and... Mm. All right. Any other rumors, guys? Hmm. I don't no, no, no. All right, then. Trivia time. All right, so the Bloodline has a lot of titles right now. A lot of titles. Yes. Really just two, right, if you're combining them all. Yeah. But what faction in WWE has had the most titles at one time? Evolution. That is incorrect. There's only, well, I don't want to say anything else. Any other guesses? Oh. Uh, D Generation X. The, the cor- McMahon the Helmsley. The corporation. Yeah. Okay. The Rock. When the Rock was champion, uh-huh. Shamrock and Boss Man were not only tag team champions but hardcore and intercontinental champions. Oh, wow. They had every title that yeah. existed at that time. Wow. I believe. Nice. So there you go. Wasn't that Evolution was point- second because they did have the tags and the IC and the yeah right. I thought like when it was Stephanie and Triple H like running DX like X Pac had European and the New Age Outlaws had the tag and like she had the women's. And he had the WWF. I don't think they I think all that had was those at the at, same time. Well, I think, wasn't that after Triple H and Stephanie bailed on DX? No, oh, maybe. Right. <clears throat> like, Stephanie was never a part of DX. Right. So once Triple H, like, got back with Stephanie, like, DX was over with. Yeah. yeah. After all that. Or got with Stephanie, whatever. Like, DX was done. There was, Stephanie was never doing Suck It in never. DX or anything right, right, like right. that. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah. So that was, DX was over with. But all right, Nice. Uh, let's do fan questions. Roll up, Carnosaur. Uh, does Veer remind you, does Veer remind anyone mm-hmm. of a less coked up animal from the Muppets? <laughs> sure. <laughs> kind of, I guess. Harry. Here's gibberish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, kind of. He does kind of sound like him. Right, right. Alex Produsco, don't you guys think it'd be smart to have Roman drop his titles to the next Money in the Bank winner? Uh, it protects Roman because they can cash in after a match and you can put over the next big baby face and Roman doesn't look weak. I think that's probably what they're going to do with Cody. Maybe. Probably, yeah. Or does... You th- uh, yeah, but Cody's the kind of baby face that would win Money in the Bank and then tell Roman like the exact time and place it's going to come. It's going to happen. Nah, right. Fuck that. Like John Cena. Right. I will cash this in. At some I think so. Andy Piccone, push fire Barry selling your own move. Mm. Uh, Chris Benoit's flying headbutt. Sell it. Oh, it's probably got a it. fire. I don't want to. Yeah, kill because myself. he's always yeah, acting yeah, like you, you don't right. want to kill your family. No. RVD's frog splash Oof. or Ric Flair when someone turned over his figure four. Well, if it's the for frog? real, the figure four because flipping a figure four in real life doesn't hurt you. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, but it doesn't. Still hurts the other person. Right. Mm. It does. Yeah. I, I, to answer his question, I it does. <laughs> to answer his question, I like when our it was RVD, right? The, the frog splash. Yeah. When he would do the frog splash, he would really like fall off and like be like holding his stomach. You know what I mean? Right. Like selling that it really hurt mm-hmm. on his end as well. That's what I would pick. I mean, RVD's like arch dick first almost, and takes like <laughs> all of it. So, so push it, yeah. dick push first. It. Uh, Get JT, first. JT Pisani, I usually try to keep nice. my comments funny or light, uh, but are we honestly moving on without Sasha and Naomi? I wonder what Jimmy Uso's stance is on his wife being suspended. I'm sure he doesn't really care because he's getting a shit ton of money and he's dual champ. I'm yeah. sure it's awkward, though. Sure, right. He's probably going to be like, yeah, man, WWE yeah. sucks. Meanwhile, he's a double champ. He's like, you want to ride together to work? Oh, Oh, right. Yeah. Honey, how am I going to get to work now? (laughs) Right. Mm. (laughs) Luis Vasquez. Hey, Andrew. So glad you finally saw everything everywhere all at once. Ah. Honestly, one of my favorite movies in the last couple years and better time to spend than watching this shit because WWE is... Poison. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great movie. Pop Culture Junkie, you have to last 10 minutes with one of them to win $1 million. Kevin Owens in a promo battle. Ooh. Brock Lesnar in a UFC fight. Okay. Uh, <laughs> ten minutes? I, okay. Ten seconds? I'm hating all of this. 
Uh, 2000 era Kurt Angle in an Olympic wrestling match. Oh. Again, not happening. Right. Or a threesome with Sasha and Alexa. Okay. How do you last? Oh, you got last yeah, 10 last minutes? 10, yeah, it's not happening either. Uh, I mean, I would. I mean, the I promo would. battle's the best bet. Maybe. Okay. You're going to get murdered by Lesnar. Angle's going to pin I you. I mean, if you can last longer than five minutes, you've got Lesnar. He'll gas himself out. Come on, guys. This is a very obvious answer. You'll be fine. Yeah. If you have to I'll, go again, Mr. Come 20 times, you'll be fine, well, Andrew. Take care of business. I'll just, yeah. I'll, give I mean, you a break. E- either way, at least if I don't get the million dollars, you still have Sasha and Alexa. Right. Well, Correct. I feel like a millionaire. <laughs> I've won in life. <laughs> you win either way. I don't know about, <laughs> sir, you didn't win the money, but, but I feel like a million bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Carolyn Holly, push fire Barry Joe isms. Mm. Oh, I I love her. I love I her. Love, I love oh, her. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, little dick. I love her. Little dick. And sure sure sure. Little sure, dick. Sure, 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 sure. Oh man, uh, I was doing all the Joe impressions there. Yeah yeah. yeah. Joe wasn't catching on to him. I love her. I love her. Mm. Little D. Little, I guess, little D. <laughs> I guess little D, yeah. Push little D. Little D. <laughs> uh, sure, sure, sure should get its due notice. Yeah, I would. We all kind of do that. Bury that. Fire, I love her. I love her. Because you love everyone. that's just about everyone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Herb, question, but can Joe answer first since he's watched longer? Mm. Oh. That's a nice way of saying he's older. Is there such a thing <laughs> as a perfect episode of wrestling, or does one good thing make a show enjoyable? Oh, I think Mick Foley winning the title was a pretty perfect episode yeah. of wrestling because you've had like the Shawn Michaels came out. He was part of DX then DX fucks him over, mm-hmm. puts him through his face through a windshield. Then it ends with Mick Foley, the biggest underdog of all time, winning the title with Stone Cold. Yeah, that was like start, be- like middle, you know, what yeah. I mean? end, like it yeah. had everything. It was almost like a self-contained episode. That's why everything works. There's probably so well. a couple yeah. of shitty matches with eight ball and whoever those fucking guys were. <laughs> right, right, right. Those guys sucked ass. Yeah. Yeah. But it's tough. I mean, the perfect show, the closest thing to that would be NXT take over New Orleans. Oof. Because everything on that show was pretty great. Money. Uh, Ghost of Johnny Drip Drip. Does Riddle have the legs to stand on his own as a top talent? I think seems so. over as hell with the crowds, and he's in, he's adding Randy's moves. He's just got to turn heel, and he's got to stop. He's got to turn on Randy. Yeah, he's got to stop saying Randy. I think if they stopped making him dumb, right, and he he could go on a winning streak even as a face and like main event or have a big match at WrestleMania. You know, it'd be great. I he think fucking he could. turns on Randy, and we're all like, why, why? Like Jr. with Triple H, why? Tell me why. You and son then, of a bitch! And then next yeah. week, Riddle comes out. You know, he's wearing sh- sneakers. Right. Uh-huh. right. He doesn't flip them off. Right. He flips us off. And then instead of, because he always goes, hey, Randy. He goes, hey, Randy. Sure, of course. That'd be great. Yeah. As a heel, you're smart. Fuck I'm, you, I'm Randy. Fine with it. Right, right, right. We sure. lost the titles because of you, Randy. <laughs> and because of you, I'll never... Not wear shoes again, even in the shower, <laughs> Randy. These sneakers are soaked. Give him a year of that, right? Let Randy take time off, then they don't see each other. Yeah. Then Randy's about to get destroyed by, you know, Unforgiven or the Bloodline. And uh-huh. then uh, then he comes and makes the save. Now he's back, and then you can basically give him the title at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bradley Gentry, Orton is taking a break. I get it, part of the contract, but what a missed opportunity. Have Riddle injure, then push. Yeah, I mean... We don't know how long he's going to be gone. Right. Maybe they could still do that. Probably be a month. Maybe but. he'll fight Roman, and then Orton will fight Roman. Mm. Probably. Uh, Shanky! Damien Sandow returns as Elias to prove Ezekiel is not lying. Could it work? Sure. Wait, say that one more time. Damien Sandow returns as Elias <laughs> right. to yeah. prove Ezekiel. That could be a funny thing, and then Kevin Owens is like, Wait! It's Damien Sandow! Yeah, you know? Right. You idiot! Yeah. That could be funny. Whisper in the Miz wind. walks by. He's like, didn't I fire you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whisper in the wind. I'd love to see the 24-7 wrestlers who don't have a storyline to be guest referees. It would at least make the rematches a bit more interesting. Sure. Yeah. Why'd you remind well, me? Well, there was no 24-7 title this week. I know. No. There, well, there was Dana Brooke had five seconds of TV time. It wasn't even worth mentioning. She was just like, excuse me, Adam Pierce, when Carmella's 
uh, can when she can wrestle again, I want to fight her. And Pierce is like, she never could. Right. And then Dana walked away. <laughs> no, and then Becky, like, shoot her away. Yeah. But Becky was, like, a foot taller. I guess she had high heels on or something. But sure, it's kind of funny. You're like, oh. Yeah. Not Spega. Uh Chris, can we all finally admit Riddle and Chelsea Green are twins? Looks like uh, Chris has a crush. That's a... On Riddle. That's a knock on Chelsea. I don't want to think that Riddle... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the Rizzler. I can't remember WWE being so fucking consistently cringeworthy. Mm. Lacey, twenty four seven. Oscar on the mic. Rematches. Yeah, that's right. Oscar had another cry promo this week. Yeah, but I didn't even want to bring that up. Jason Deere, what do you guys think of the lighting they use during Judgment Day's promos? I like how it blurs out the crowd, making Edge and company really stand out on the screen. I think they perfected it compared to the lighting they used for Edge when he first started this gimmick. It was so hard to watch. Yeah. It's kind of cool because it, like, it shows like their negative shadows on the in the ring. Right. Like white shadows. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. Sure. Why not? Right. It's kind of like with The Undertaker, what they did with him. But Yeah. Old Greg, when you think, when do you think we will see Baby Oos? Bumped from NXT to the Bloodline, and how about The Rock joining the storyline? Well, I'm sure they love to have The Rock join the storyline. Of course. Right. There's rumors he'll show up at Survivor Series to set up a Mania match with Roman Reigns. Who knows? We'll see. Who cares? Oh, you'll bust a nut if Rock (laughs) shows up. Oh, my God. It's The the Rock, but just to lose. He can't beat Roman. Clearly. He can't have an old guy come in. Whatever. Yeah, because Rock's never done that yeah. before. You can't have an know, old guy come in and beat now. a top young what talent. He, 50? Well, how old is he? Fifth, I think he's 50. Gold, Goldberg in Goldberg. the fiend. Oh. 50. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Old guy came in to beat mm. a young top talent. Um, 50. Uh, all right, enough of that. Yeah. That's all for fan questions, so make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Follow the show on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Wrong Wrestling. Get a t-shirt at ProWrestlingTees.com slash What's Wrong With Wrestling. And become a supporter of the show at Patreon.com slash What's Wrong With Wrestling. $5 a month gets you everything. AEW recaps, pay-per-view recaps, classic recaps, movies, all that good shit. Yeah. Including brackets. Yeah. If you yeah. haven't checked out the worst promo bracket, part one and two, mm. go sign up. If you're not happy... I'll fucking refund your money. How about that? Patreon.com slash What's Wrong With Wrestling. And check out Hollywood Hogwash. Go do it. The views of Andrew Pisano do not represent the whole entire WWE audience. Yes, they do.